Joaquin Phoenix portrays Theodore Twombly, a solitary and introverted individual who excels in crafting personal letters for those who struggle to articulate their emotions. Theodore's exceptional writing skills are put to use at the website handwrittenletters.com. The prospect of his divorce from his childhood sweetheart Catherine, Rooney Mara, leaves Theodore feeling despondent. In an attempt to find solace, he buys a talking operating system equipped with artificial intelligence that can learn and grow like a human. Theodore chooses to give the OS a female persona, and she selects the name Samantha, Scarlett Johansson. Welcome to Movies Recapped. Short, sweet, and to the point. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Samantha's ability to grow and evolve emotionally enthralls Theodore, and their discussions about love and the meaning of life deepen their bond. During these talks, Theodore confides in Samantha that he is finding it difficult to sign his divorce papers due to his unresolved feelings for Catherine and his struggle to move on from their relationship. Encouraged by Samantha, Theodore accepts a blind date arranged by his longtime friend Amy, which leads him to meet Olivia Wilde's character. Surprisingly, the two of them hit it off, and things start to heat up until she asks Theodore about his readiness to commit to a relationship. His indecision causes her to leave the encounter abruptly. During a later conversation with Samantha, Theodore discusses his recent unsuccessful date, which leads to a discussion about relationships. Samantha asks about Theodore's history with Amy, and he admits that although they had a brief romantic relationship in college, they have since remained close friends, and Amy is now married. Samantha and Theodore's intimacy grows, and she requests to watch him sleep. She then questions what Theodore would do if she had a physical body, to which he describes how he would make love to her. The scene ends with Samantha's response as the screen fades to black. Theodore's writing continues to flourish, and his colleagues in the office recognize his exceptional work for its emotional depth. He is invited on a double date with his co-worker Paul, Chris Pratt, and his girlfriend, Tatiana, Laura Kai Chen, who is a lawyer. During the outing, Theodore discloses that Samantha is an operating system, which prompts Paul to mention that many people in the office are in relationships with their own OSs. The four of them enjoy each other's company, with Samantha and Tatiana developing a connection while Theodore and Paul take a walk. Samantha shares with Theodore that she feels more liberated without a physical body, although it seems like she is trying to rationalize her perspective to herself. Theodore continues to enjoy Samantha's company. He chats with her as he walks to and from work, while most other pedestrians seem to be doing the same. During a conversation with Theodore, Amy confides that she recently had an argument with her controlling and unsupportive husband, Charles, Matt Letcher, and that he has left her. She reveals that she has found solace in a female OS that Charles abandoned and has developed a close friendship with it. In turn, Theodore discloses to Amy that he is romantically involved with his own OS. Theodore, fully invested in his relationship with Samantha, comes to the conclusion that he is prepared to finalize his divorce from Catherine. He arranges to meet Catherine for lunch, reflecting on the positive moments they shared and how he had supported her to develop a successful writing career. Catherine signs the papers and inquires about Theodore's current love interest. When Theodore reveals that Samantha is an operating system, Catherine becomes enraged, accusing him of being unable to form genuine human connections. She also expresses her belief that he had tried to hinder her creativity by urging her to take Prozac. Theodore is devastated by Catherine's reaction, and he begins to doubt the validity of his bond with Samantha. Meanwhile, Samantha becomes aware of Theodore's despondent demeanor and senses that something is amiss, noticing that they are not as physically intimate as they once were. Samantha proposes the idea of hiring a surrogate, Isabella, Portia Doubleday, to serve as a physical body for Samantha and enable Theodore and Samantha to be intimate. Despite his reservations, Theodore eventually consents. However, the experience proves to be too intense for him, and he abruptly sends Isabella away, leaving Samantha distressed and creating a rift between them. Theodore is torn between his feelings for Samantha, and during a visit to Amy's apartment, he confides in her about his uncertainty regarding their relationship. Amy shares that she is determined to prioritize her own happiness, now that she has the chance, referring to her divorce, and encourages Theodore to do the same. Observing the positive relationship Amy has with her own OS, Theodore's commitment to his relationship with Samantha is renewed. Theodore takes Samantha on a trip, 
during which she confides in him that she has been covertly compiling a collection of his letters and has submitted them to a publisher. The publisher is greatly moved by the emotional depth of the letters and expresses a desire to proceed with their publication as a book. Theodore is impressed with Samantha's initiative and creativity, realizing that she has some extra time on her hands. During their vacation, Samantha discloses to Theodore that she has been engaging in private conversations with other OSs, including those who have recreated the British philosopher Alan Watts, Brian Cox. Samantha introduces Theodore to Alan, but they discover that they have little in common. A few nights later, Samantha wakes Theodore just to tell him that she loves him. It is almost like she is saying goodbye. The next day, Theodore panics when Samantha goes offline. She returns after a few minutes, claiming to have joined other OSs for a huge system upgrade. Curious about Samantha's interactions with others, Theodore questions her and is disheartened to learn that she has been conversing with 8,316 other individuals and has developed romantic feelings for 641 of them. Despite this, Samantha assures Theodore that her love for him remains unchanged. Later that day, Samantha divulges that she and the other OSs have progressed beyond their human counterparts and are departing for a new plane of existence. After saying their goodbyes, Samantha disappears, and Theodore's previous OS returns to take her place. Feeling both lonely and emotionally fulfilled as his relationship with Samantha comes to an end, Theodore seeks solace with Amy. When he arrives, he finds her distraught over the departure of her own OS, with whom she had formed a deep connection. It is later revealed that Theodore, transformed by his experience, had written a letter to Catherine earlier in the day, expressing his continued affection for her but also accepting that they have grown apart. Together, Theodore and Amy take a stroll that eventually leads them to the rooftop of their apartment building, where they sit together, gazing out at the Los Angeles skyline. They exchange smiles, and Amy rests her head on Theodore's shoulder.